Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Golden Calf and the Israels. Moses asked, Sorry. Moses asked the Israels, Do you want to follow God who brought you out of the Egypt? The Israel answered, Yes, we will follow God. Moses went up to Mount Sinai again. He went there to talk with God. He stayed there for a long time. Wait, don't worry. We'll go to another. Moses might not come back, but the people whispered to one another, We need a God to help us. The people collect gold and make golden cuff. They said this golden cuff will help us. This cuff is our God now. The people didn't obey God. The people made what God said. One day Moses came down from the mountain. Moses was mad at the people. Who wants to please God? said Moses. Some people came to Moses. They won't wanted to please God, but the other people didn't come to Moses. Thus, what happened to the bad people? They didn't listen to God. They all died. It was a sad day. The people began to listen to God. They obeyed God with all their hearts. The 16th chapter. The repentance of God's people. Some people complained to Moses. Why did you take us here and make us die? Other complained to wear stick and tried of man tired of manania. Mania. Other said, God doesn't help us now. Moses was very sad when he heard this. God helped Moses bringing Israel here. God gave Israel good food. But they wanted better food. They wanted a better place. They didn't want to follow God. It forgot the sad days of Egypt. They Resent God and Moses. God was sad because of the ungrateful Israels. God didn't protect the people from the poisonous snakes. Run, shouted the people but they couldn't get away from the snakes. God gave the Israel from the Egypt. God gave them food and water. But the Israel didn't that God. Snakes bite 
and killed them. The people pleased Moses, help us. Moses prayed to God for the people. Make a big snake of brass. Oh, sorry. Snake hide also that the people can see it. If they see the snake, they will not die. Moses did what God ordered him to do. If the people saw the bar's snake, they didn't die. God, God helped them. God forgiven them. Seventeen chapter. The wall of Jer Jericho. Jericho is a fortress with a high, strong wall. Look at this wall, said Joshua's people. How can we fight against the people of Jericho? Joseph said, God will help us. God told Jos Joshua how to tear the wall down. And Joshua told the God what God taught him. This is the way God taught me, told me. They were going to tear the wall down by God's way. On the first day, Joshua and the Israel went to Jericho. Jer 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 they marched around the city wall with the sound of trumpets. Then they wanted back to their tents. What are they doing? The people of Jericho was serious. They were afraid of the Israels. Why don't they fight against us? The Israel marched around the city again the next day. On the seventh day, Joshua and the Israel marched around the wall of Jacob. Jericho. It was different from the other six days. They marched around the city seven times. The people of Jericho were serious. What is going to happen? When the people heard the sound of trumpets, they began to shout. The high wall of Jericho Jericho fell down into in front of the people. Joshua and the Israels ran into Jacob and took over the city. Joshua shouted, God help us. Yes. Next time I will read the strongest man, Samson.
stay with red. The wait, we have also red. Golden Cuff and the Israel and the Repentance of God People The Wall of the Coat by J. Next time I will read The Strong Man, Strongest Man, Samson. I think he will be very strong, right? And next time I will also read, and next time I will read The Strongest Man, Samson. It was random. Yeah, bye!